Hello, this is Phil with IDIG Best, and we're going to go over the uh, plan builder for the GPS. Uh, job site, you're going to have the 00, zero stake, um, and you're going to mark that on your screen. Uh, this first one, second stake, is a reference. You can put it, let's call this one 60 feet. So then you're going to take your excavator, you're going to spin over and center tooth, go over and touch it. Uh, once you do that, then the computer is going to take both these points and we're going to start talking to the uh, satellites in the sky. Uh, the satellites in the sky are giving us a point so that we can figure out where we're at, putting our plans in, uh, doing it. So as it transmits to us, the triangulation puts us with those two stakes anywhere in the world uh, in the right direction how we should be. So let's take a top view of this. Here's top view right here. And let's look at the plan view. There's your two stakes again. <clears throat> we're going to set an offset here. Uh, let's say we want exactly 10 foot. We grab a little tape measure, change it to uh, 10 feet, and say OK. And now we've got that started. So we're going to lay out the basement. So the first lines we lay out is we could be tracing a plan here. Obviously, you've seen the other videos. But the basement's 60 by 45 in this case. Click it, go up there, we name it basement. And then we're going to put in an elevation, which would be a negative because it's downward. Uh, we're going to go off top of a wall with this plan or finished floor. So this one's negative 9 foot, um, 8 inches, so basically 966, 967 if you want to round up. Uh, we're going to make the basement red, and the lines are closed. So here we go. That's what that looks like. We're going to lay out the garage. So this garage is uh, 25, 4, so by, uh, say, 25. So we click on it. Again, we can use our tape measure. Put the correct number in, 25, and it does that. We go to the to the back to the building and back to our zero point. Now it's asking us. So uh, the garage is it's going to be green, and we're going to uh, put an elevation of, of negative three foot 33. Oops, typed wrong. So just back off there. Pretty simple. You put in front of the period and behind it, so just right there, 33. Three foot, four inches, basically. Um, it's going to be open because we didn't close the box. And uh, it's section two, or we can give it a name. In this case, we'll uh, just hit garage, something close. So that's good. Okay, we're going to add something else. So let's do a crawl space on this one. We'll come across. Uh, I'll say it's, you know, 21 and a half feet and uh, 20 feet wide. And go back to our point again. It's a section number three, or we can name it what we want. So let's call it crawl. Uh, the elevation down that, let's say it's four foot down on this. So the guy can get under there and get around. And let's uh, make it blue and it's open again on the lines. So we click it, we're, we're good, we're done, and we save it. So once we save this, it goes up automatically through the cell towers and the satellites and, and uh, it's going to transmit to us. And this is top view. So then in our screen, it lays out this basement. You can see the two stakes there, excavator. And you don't even have to lay out. You could you just go out and get ready and start digging, man. Get on your spot. It'll line you up perfectly. You can turn right around and rip a hole right through the ground. Easy as pie. Can't lose lines. Can't be wrong. You can take the same job site, move it place to place. 